The Range Rover Evoque is one of the maddest looking cars on the road, but for Italian tyre manufacturer's Marangoni, it's not quite crazy enough. So they decided to take a standard Evoque and fit it with a few special extras. The most obvious are those four bright red tyres. I went to Italy with Marangoni to test the new Empower tyre, and what they've come up with is a tyre that's very progressive, feels very consistent when you're driving the car, and it offers great performance with good durability and minimal road noise. Then there's the satin silver paint job, a carbon fibre body kit, and even a set of tiny Italian flags on the door mirrors. There's a custom interior too, filled all the way up to the bright red roof lining with leather, carbon fibre and alcantara. But the really special thing about this car is actually hidden away in here. In these tanks back here is hydrogen and natural gas and that gets mixed with petrol from the fuel tank and injected into the 2 litre turbo engine underneath the bonnet. It's essentially the same engine as in a standard Evoque, but here it produces 296 bhp compared to 237 normally. And that hydrogen and natural gas mix means CO2 emissions are reduced by as much as 30%. That means that despite having over 100 horsepower more than a flagship diesel Evoque, the Marangoni is actually cleaner. But with all that clever kit on board, what's it actually like to drive? If you can ignore the red headlining, from behind the wheel it actually feels like any other Evoque. Marangoni decided not to tweak the suspension at all and that means it's got that nicely judged, firm but still supple suspension which means it corners well, but then it's also comfortable too. The tweaks to the engine haven't made that much of a difference either, and that's mainly down to all that weight in the boot, but Marangoni has fitted some upgraded brakes, and that means there's slightly more bite to them. But there's only really one way we can see how the Marangoni measures up to a standard Evoque, and that's by bringing one along for a drag race. In theory, the Marangoni has got this all wrapped up. I know I've got over 50 brake horsepower more than him, so that should knock a few tenths off the seven second 0 to 60 time. Still, faces of intense concentration showing neither of us wants to lose. And three, two, one, go. Both cars have got four wheel drive and both of us pull away level. With the gearbox in sport mode, the engine revs all the way up to the red line before shifting up. It's about the halfway point and I'm just behind, waiting for the Marangoni to reel in the standard car, hoping for that 50 extra horsepower to really show itself. But just as I'm beginning to catch up, we cross the line with the standard car just edging the win. Despite the power boost, those heavy tanks in the back of the Marangoni proved to be a little bit too much weight. Hidden away in the defeat is some sort of consolation. The fact that I made it to the finish line having produced 30% less CO2 is something. Or maybe I'm just bitter. If you look at them both head to head, the difference in performance isn't that great. But Marangoni has done a great job of implementing some new technologies without affecting the way the Evoque drives. And if you want something a little bit more eye-catching than the standard car, then here's your answer.